सो फाइनली दिस कस्टम रूम इज बैक आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग लॉन्ग टाइम इफ यूर यूजिंग एंड्रॉड फ्रॉम अ लॉर्ड ऑफ टाइम इफ यू आर इन टू एंड्रॉड कम्युनिटी और कस्टम रूम कम्युनिटी फ्रॉम सम टाइम यू माइट नो कोल्ट ओ एस कोल्ट ओ एस इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द ओल्ड कस्टम रूम्स एंड इट्स बैक विद एंड्रॉयड थर्टीन इट्स बैक विद द न्यू अपडेट एंड इट्स क्वाइट इंटरेस्टिंग ऑल दो इट्स नॉट ऑफिशियल येट आई जस्ट फाउंड द अनऑफिशियल वर्जन फॉर माई डिवाइस रेडमी नोट टेन प्रो मे बी ऑफिशियल डिवाइस इज कमिंग वेरी वेरी सून बट राइट नाउ दिस इज वट वी हैव अ क्विक ओवर व्यू अबाउट द थिंग्स विच आर इंक्लूडेड एज इट इज बेस्ड ऑन एंड्रॉयड थर्टीन सो ऑल द एंड्रॉयड थर्टीन फीचर्स द लॉन्चर एज एक्सपेक्टेड इज द सेम like in other custom rooms which is having the app drawer customizations for you home screen customizations for you icon pack related customizations some recent customizations and else almost same kind of things available here and there so no major things although this is not something kind of unique it's just like this is an old custom room and now it's finally coming back with android 13 so that's quite good at least they are bringing you something different here something new after long time Panel space is already included. And if I move on to the quick settings panel, quick settings panel has some theming options. We'll talk about that later on. But if you take a look at the quick settings UI, I mean quick settings background, it's light mode, so that's very good. To be very honest, I love this thing. If you use a light mode, you should you you should have the light quick settings panel. Or if you use a dark mode, you should have the dark quick settings panel. Also, if you use a stock pixel, if you need those stock kind of UI. you are most welcome to use pixel experience plus or pixel experience based custom rooms if i move on to the wallpapers and style options what i found here themed icons option is there but you also have the custom themed icon support which means if you want to use your own custom themed icons like lawn icons arc icons dg icons or else you can use them also some system fonts options as expected lately if you want to customize your device by using some fonts options are available for you looks quite good and if i move on to the settings ui it's almost same like other custom rooms as far as i know this kind of settings ui is also available in cherry shoes and some more custom rooms so nothing unique as expectedly but yes this is new in android 13 for cold os If you move on to the customization section it's here customizations are at least included like series bar customizations notification or lock screen or monet theming related customizations and else and if you click any option you can see the background seems different here so yes this is at least something different and coldways always brings you some of the features if you are using coldways or if you have ever used coldways in previous times you might already know that cold os is also one of those custom homes which brings you a lot of customizations quick settings customizations are there where you have the options related tiles we have some series bar customizations as you just noticed if i move on to the buttons option you have some options related to navigation bar to we have some power menu customizations which only have the power menu animation basically and some gestures which includes the three finger screenshot and else If we move on to the system options you have cold decorations which means some customizations for you some features for you which you can enable or disable like quick settings panel have some theming options quick setting styles of course some monet theming options as expectedly are already present here we have some monet engine customizations where we have options related to volume panel i'm using rise volume panel it's almost same like rise droid if you have ever used rise droid that custom brings you this real me ui and rise ui style volume panels i think so some of other custom rooms also brings you these kind of ui things If I move on to the miscellaneous options, this includes game space. So yes, you have some extra features for immersive gaming experience where you want to use if you want to use these kind of things if you play games. This might be helpful for you too. I don't play games, so I don't think so it it's helpful for me at least. Network traffic indicator, it's there. If you use these features, if you need these features pre-installed in your custom room, it's there. The battery graph seems to be quite good, quite interesting. It also gives you the ability to see the battery usage from the last full charge instead of the last 24 hours so that's also one of the positive things about using this custom room. I actually love these things in a custom room. If you move on to the security options, you will see some screen lock options, face lock and fingerprint both are available and the app locker was already available in the default launcher so almost everything is present here. This is an official version so I can't provide you the link right now but if official is coming very very soon I will provide you the link there and this was all from today's short and simple video 
I hope you like this. If you like this, don't forget to like and share this. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.